this video, we're going to look at the formula for the volume of a sphere. I've drawn a picture of a sphere. It's not perfect, but it's there. Uh, and I've also drawn a couple of pyramids that, uh, if you can try to imagine the whole sphere being cut into pyramids of this shape, where uh, they, they have their vertex at the center, and their bases would fill the entire surface of the sphere. And we're going to use that to come up with the formula for the volume of the sphere. All right, so when we look at any one pyramid, the volume of a pyramid is one-third the area of the base times the height. So we'll call this one number one. So it's one-third the area of base one times the height. And we'll call that one two. one-third area of base two times the height. Again, I said we were going to cut the whole sphere into pyramids so that we're using up the whole surface of the sphere there. So we would have a whole bunch of volumes of, of pyramids added together. So our volume of the whole sphere So we've got one-third area of base one times the height, one-third area of base two times the height, plus all the way up to one-third area of base n times the height. Now, I don't know how many uh, pyramids I'm going to say we're cutting into, but just a, a large number of pyramids, and that's why I'm indicating it as n, not just a, not a specific number. All right, so now we're just going to look at doing a little bit of algebra on this formula. Every term has some things in common. Every term has one-third, and every term has the height of the pyramid. You know what? The height of the pyramid, actually, is just the radius of the sphere. So I'm going to factor out one-third times the height. times base 1 plus base 2 all the way up through base n. And what is base 1 plus base 2 all the way through base n? Well, if we think back to what we I originally said, we're going to divide the whole sphere into these pyramids. So we're covering up the whole entire surfaces with these bases. So all of those bases essentially add up to the surface area of the sphere. And the height, remember we said the height, is just the radius of the sphere. So one-third times the radius times the surface area of the sphere. I'm going to move it up here a little bit. In a previous video, I showed uh, how you come up with the surface area, or one explanation for the surface area of the sphere. If you recall, that is four pi r squared. So the surface area of the sphere, 4 pi r squared, times 1 third, times the radius. Just a little bit more algebra. It's 1 third r times r squared, so we've got r cubed. 1 third times 4 is 4 thirds, and then pi. That's the volume of a sphere. Uh, most of the times you'll see it written just a little bit different. You'll see four-thirds pi r cubed. And that's the formula for volume of the sphere. Again, think back to how we came up with that. Took a whole sphere, divided up into pyramids with their height equal to the radius, and their bases are pieces of the sphere. And we're doing it so we're doing pyramids that would cover the entire surface of the sphere with their bases. So we add up the volume of all those individual pyramids, use some algebra skills to factor out a one-third times the eight, the height. Remember, the height of the pyramid is the radius. All those bases add up to the total surface. Use a little bit more algebra to simplify that overall formula for volume of a sphere, four-thirds pi r cubed.